Yo, what up, YouTube? Jeremy from Transition TV here from West Michigan. Just want to show something that I see that's really typical. So I've got the antenna up there already installed. The cable's running down. We're replacing the cable company line as the input feed for the uh, antenna. I've already got it hidden all the way down. The cable company is uh, not used here anymore. Hasn't been for a while since fiber optic came in from a different company, which is right there. But what I see all the time is these technicians that come out, they think these things are grounded by connecting to this box. But the problem is, is this is all PVC. This is metal, but this is PVC. Plastic is a non-conductor of electricity. So even though this goes down to the ground, it doesn't make contact with earth ground. And just because it's hooked to metal doesn't mean it's grounded. They're relying on the metal contact from this box to the one inside uh, through the ground connection. But who knows where that route is and how long it is and if that's longer to the first connected t uh, TV than the wire to the contact with the ground is in a static event. Furthermore, this is how he or she, whoever, connected this. That's really loose and it's been sitting there for quite a while because it's already corroded. Anyways, just wanted to show that the proper way to ground is actually drive a ground rod like this into the earth, connect this ground wire right here, and then it needs to make contact. Well, this is the new junction box that I'm using. But it needs to make contact through a ground block. Well, we got it sitting around here somewhere. Here it is. You run that wire, not from there, but from your ground rod into your ground block, connect it into the box, uh, intercept your coax cable, and then you're properly grounded. Any other way like this, and I've seen before, damages usually the first connected TV, because then the first connected TV if it's shorter than the route to earth ground, uh, the first connected TV will actually absorb the static and discharge across the circuit board uh, in the back and damage the main board. Seen it a lot. So just wanted to show that. Just a common thing that I see all the time. Bad grounds, bad connections, incorrectly uh, hooked up. So you wanna make sure you're hooked up right. Ground rod into a ground block and then you have no worries.